I know you've been getting some little bits and pieces of this video on this water cooler. I finally got everything in, so I just want to go over real quick. You know how quick I can be. Um, no, really. I want to go over real quick on some of the things that are going to be going into this. And I'll get back to when I refill it. We'll have that part of the video. But right now, of course, the main things you're going to need are your water block. With this one, I ended up going with a larger fitting. I wanted some better water flow. So I went with a 3 8 inner, 5 8 outer. These are compression fittings. When you put them on, they do what it says. It compresses. Of course, you have your, your, your plugs. And on the... Um, I should fix the autofocus, shouldn't I? Okay, we'll try that. So, yeah, and on this one, what we have is I'm just matching the, the top of it. I, I was hoping I could have gotten this in all black, but it's all covered with holes anyway. So, again, 3 8 in a 5 8 out of it's it's very thin well it's not so thin you can bend it but it's thin something that I I've got to really mention that's really important that you need to get with this is this little tool I mean for the dollar 99 it's made by a company called monsoon and I also again I'd like to say thank you thank you to the, the, the um the companies mod my mods was involved in some of this um Primo Chill performance PCs they all kind of like came together and had everything I needed to get this just the way I wanted it um, some of it was out of stock at other places if one place would have had everything in particular I probably would have just went with that but it took a little searching anyways when you're putting these in it's kind of a pain you don't want to take a pair of pliers and mess up the outer part of, of your fitting of your bobbed fitting so what you have here it's just a little tool for twisting on okay simple boom boom put it in all right again it can be used on this but the other part to this is this this is so when it's on and you need to snug it down you can put it between the holes and uh, it's well worth it it fits right on once the hose is on it kind of keeps it in place and it does just what it looks like boom it turns and it gives it a little fitting you want that to pull that hose down and get it nice and snug all right now that we got that out of the way another thing you want to do is I really I spent a couple hours just running water through this radiator and through these hoses to get every little bit of particle out that I could get you're gonna need a standard Phillips head screwdriver again this tool Again, a razor knife. And when you're cutting your hose, this is the hose I decided to go with. This is a really good hose. Thanks to Performance PC, they had it in stock. I bought like a 10 foot section of it. This is what you want, something that holds up on the chemicals. And on the, Now, um, I'd like to thank Amazon for sending me this, this um, crazy straw, okay? I don't know what the hell you call this, but it, it is in hose. I guess if it's maybe a beginner wants to just play around but I mean, let, let's let's see what happens if we try to get a hard bend. It's holding up pretty good there. It's small. It's six and eight, but crimp. It, it, this isn't gonna do it. You'd have to get wiring and resupport it, and and it's just too small for what. If you're doing like as a standard, yeah, it might work. But this is pretty cheap. Like I said, I could have made a crazy straw into it. Um, another thing. That people might be interested in doing and I'm not gonna bother is sleeving I like the plain rubber look on this I, I, I found one that was similar to it and I did like the way it looked but the sleeving would also look good as well and along with the sleeving another thing that you're gonna need is shrink tubing or heat shrink tubing they call it You're going to need a heat gun for this. It looks like a blow dryer, but it gets a lot hotter. You're not going to want to use a blow dryer. So once this slides over, you apply the heat to it. 
this stuff shrinks up and when it when it gets cool it, it's that's why you can see on a lot of these um, different fittings that just have this on it you don't see um, if it if it's not using compression fittings this will do it if you're using a soft hose it wouldn't do it with the uh, crazy straw okay and another quick thing that I do want to go over of course you're gonna need this when you when you're doing your water when you start filling it up you're gonna do it outside of your PC you could do it inside but then you gotta worry about if you're using distilled water and you're using I ended up picking up some Corsair XL5 clear performance coolant okay it's non um, it, it, it doesn't it doesn't have a, you, you can you can drop this and it won't fry your board oh lost the word same for this distilled water use regular water that's conductive there we are conductive okay so we got all that out of the way one last thing I wanted to show you can you all see what I got in my hand let me move the camera just a little bit okay in order to run your all your uh, all your equipment 5 or 12 volt whatever it may be you use your power supply you can buy one of these or you can just do like I did you can make a loop you count you gotta make sure the clip is facing you you count one two three four the fourth one in you put the pin the fifth one in you put the pin it causes a, a loop feedback that sends power back into your power supply and out to all of your little components so you can hook up all your little stuff like you're gonna need a SATA or you're gonna need a, a four pin connector to be able to run your um, your stuff into and then from there you want to fill this first we'll get to that but basically you're gonna fill this real all the way up you're gonna fill this all the way up you're gonna put your hose on one hose is gonna stay out once they're full you're gonna pull the water through until you can see where this is filled right up there's as little air as possible as well as when you're doing this you're gonna be watching the top of this and you're going to be filling this right up to the brim all right so I'm going to shut this down here and when I'm ready to start we'll get back with this I don't know guys is this going to fit in my computer I have an NZXT H700 it's a big ass case but whoo man I don't know I might have to end up getting rid of this <laughs> okay it was fun building what the heck all right so I'm gonna be moving along pretty fast here first thing I'm gonna do is on this end of the hose it's gonna be where it connects to the radiator so what you need to do and you really got to remember this is you don't need to lube this up or anything like that but nothing when you order these it's gonna come in what it says it's called a 3 8 5 8 and remember the G 1 4 or the G G and a quarter it's it's a universal size for the threads on this which fits on there because like I said you could imagine a nightmare if these radiators all had different sizes oh boy that would be a nightmare okay so this basically this is going to slide in over here and on this you could put it into that first or you can put it on here first. That's why it has this. Seeing that, I'm going to be connecting it separately. I'm going to put it in here first. Because it's going to pull. You can see that's a little bit of white marker I put on there so I could cut a straight line. You can see it wipes, wipes it off. So it's straight. You want to get this as flush all the way around as possible. As you can see, as you pull this down, it has threads over here you want to get it close enough and it's not easy take my word for it
but you'll notice when it grabs it'll stop pulling everything in it's already going you want to hold this firm this is just one way of doing it now I imagine you could even go with the outer a little bit small I don't know it's hard to say because once again once this is on the radiator as I'm gonna show you here get out of the way get out of the way that's where that little tool comes in so we're just gonna do a quickie here okay so you're gonna line this up don't put it in sideways like I'm doing and get it cross threaded that wouldn't be good at all Come on, you son of a whooping ding dong. Man. Okay, so what's going on? You can feel there's a gasket on there, okay? This is a beautiful hose, I'll tell you that right now. What a nice flexible bend it has. I got this one from PC Performance, and again, I'd like to thank them for sending me this stuff over. Okay, see, see, see what I meant, how, how this will stay in place? Well, it stays in place a little bit too good. Fits like a glove, though. Okay, you don't want to over-tighten it. It's snug feels good okay we'll be back time for coffee break man also you notice i do have a towel down here because you're going to get a little bit of fluid here and there you don't want to get it on your table if you've got a plastic table i wouldn't worry much about it but a wooden table like i have here that fluid might just damage it okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to make the hose and the way i'm going to do this is going to be a little bit differently I'm going to make one hose for this and again another reason for this tool and again take a good look at it it's a very simple tool but it is worth all the two dollars and 99 cents or dollar 99 it depends on the quality this is a really good quality this one was like three dollars i don't think that's going overboard considering the money people will spend to build this which isn't crazy i think this was 65 bucks the hose cost me about eight dollars for the 10 foot piece the radiator was like 75 so all in all other than time it's not going to cost you much more for a super heavy duty build on an aio if you're going to make your own aio than going out and buying one it's just a matter of your own preferences to buy one yes be a lot cheaper and easier okay not cheaper i should just say easier it's all all together of course you're going to pay for that name they slap on there so you're going to take this and put it right in here just remember always keep your, your plastic on the bottom you don't want that getting scratched at all okay so your finger snug it down until you feel it in again another reason for having this is even the plugs you won't damage it you use a screwdriver you will you won't damage it with this yeah same goes for here done okay from there again remember I know I would probably forget so look I'm here with you guys you're helping me remember okay so you're gonna slide this up far enough where it's out of the way remember this is gonna spread the rubber and then when you push this down it's going to pull and it's also going to push the rubber and it's just going to pull it together so tight it's not going to go nowhere so it's going to go on the board this way you're going to have your a cool down here your alpha cool and you'll be able to adjust this is why it's so important to get a good quality hose because it it's going to take to the shape that you put in there and after a while right now see it's starting to straighten out, but it was coiled, so it's got a funky little bend to it. I'm going to make sure this is just on good. OK, 
Okay, I just a little more of a snug down. And then you want to take this, you just give it a little turn, work it down. You see it's nice and flush. Again with this, you can already see it getting tense. See how far away from there it is? You've got that little space right there. So you're going to have to work it. I think it just grabbed. Okay. So, once you see that it's grabbed, you take your tool, and voila. And you turn it. The holes, let the holes move with it. It ain't going to hurt it. All right. We'll be back with the next part. I know I keep breaking in and out, but I'm trying to, I'm going to have to clip pieces out as it is. But, look how nice and clean that came out. Beautiful. Nice and clean. You're going to want to turn this until it's flush. I know you're going to do exactly what I just did. Well, I did the last time I did one of these. Is you're going to see a little gap and it's going to have a lot of pressure on it. And you're going to be like, oh shit, I don't want to. I don't want to damage this. This is really, really getting tough. Don't worry about it. You bend the hose a little bit. You hold it in place. Again, while it's down on the table, you want to use your tool. See how it fits right around there? Slides in, firm. Now that's already t tight, but that's what you're going to do. Keeping the hose still, you're going to want to turn it. It won't cut into the hose. There's enough there. As long as you're not bending this too hard over. If you do, you'll notice a little bit of like sticks rubbing together. It'll start to smoke. No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> I should have just used the crazy straw. All right. Um, well. So it doesn't, as you can see, it, it's really not insane, like, what goes into this to, to really make something not from here. And, and the whole thing about it that I find, it's just gratifying, you know, to, to be able to, to, to be able to kick back and, you know, when you got the time to do this yourself and make it the way you want it. Okay, so we have a, a 360 millimeter. You'll see the radiator when it's complete. 60, it's a 360 long, uh, I forgot how, well, it's just as wide as they all are, and 60 millimeters thick, yeah, it's big, and then when I filled it, I realized, wow, it takes a lot of fluid, but hey, it's going to be worth every penny, um, so yeah, like I said, it's just a really gratifying experience to be able to do this yourself, and if you ever have a problem with the hose, you want to change it, you want to go clear, you want to put something else on, you pull it off, you take off your hose clamps and your fittings, you can go clear, you can get the fluid already pre-made in any color you want, you can even get this creamy weird looking freaky stuff, I don't know, I wouldn't put that in, I read that some of that sediment um, kind of settles after a while, again, I don't know, um, but it wouldn't be the way I go, and the hoses, I measured my hoses, from the inside of my computer, I looked at where I wanted to put this. I can't put it on the top because of the thickness of the radiator. It'll interfere with the top of my motherboard. I wouldn't be able to even get my my eight and my six pin connector into the top of the board. You know, um, your, your, your power supply, not your 24, but the other one. And it would, would have probably hit my heat sink. So yeah, just way too big unless you're going with like a big, one of them big Leanne Lees. And you can mount this up against the back side. That that would that would have been nice. I I'm actually was looking at one last night, and I think I'm going to do a build. Okay, so I went with 15 inches on the hose. For me, I measured what the AIO in there, the Lee and Lee was. It was about 14 and a half, maybe close to fit, maybe a little less, and. I did a measurement on that. I seen where this was going to go, and I went with about the same, even though this one's going to be giving me a little more hose because of the thickness of the radiator. It's going to be pushing it about an inch out further. 
I did a little bit of adjustment for that. And you also want to remember that when this sits inside of your, your block, when this sits inside of your case, wherever it goes to your radiator, however it goes, one's always further than the other. So when you take your hose, remember, you see where one is, and then you put the other one. That's the way you want to do it. You want to make one about an inch longer to make the difference up so you can have equal distance on the bends on your hose when you put them in there. You don't want one hose looping way out and another hose tight. You want to keep them uniform. All right. Man, it's warm out. Oh, my God. Time to put a big AC in here. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to have to do some real chopping on every little corner. This is going to be kind of a longer video than normal, but I hope everybody finds it interesting enough to stick around. What is this for? Did it fall out of something? Let me take a peek, see. And this is what's great about this, too. Look at this. You can just take these right off. And luckily I did. These, these are double rubber gaskets on these pumps. So you want to be careful you don't lose the end one. It probably wouldn't leak, but it still gives it that much better. Okay, so this is, you want to just make sure it's good and snug. That ain't going nowhere now. Okay, what I'm going to do now is here we go that's just basically the, the, the fluid it's it's clear nothing fancy if i wanted to go with a color i would but seeing there's only going to be that little window there i mean you're not going to really get to see it and it's going to have a blue tint to it already because of the lighting so you want to do this over something now you could do it through the, dra the drain or the fill hole or you can do it right here it doesn't matter either way the fill hole just is a little bit easier but I'm doing it here. Everybody's got their own preference. Okay. And here we go. Remember, we got to do the hose and the radiator. It's going to take a while to do the radiator, so I'll just kind of walk you all through that part when I get that, I, that it is done, because you can't really see anything anyways. So that's what we end up with. Let's see, there's a little bit of drippage there. Oops, sorry. There's a little bit of drippage on there and nothing to worry about. You can see the air in there. We're going to get all that out eventually as soon as I run this. When I run it, one hose is going to be off. I'm going to circulate everything through there while I'm pouring fluid into that. I'll be seeing the air working its way up here. It's going to be run out of the system. The pump's going to keep pushing through, circulating until I can get this almost right to the very top from that fill hole. And then voila, this bad boy will be ready to go in, which is going to be... A weekend project and I'm gonna do a different video on that but that's yeah that's gonna be a whole different thing because I'm making a couple other changes also why I'm inside of there a little bit of different wiring but never mind that he'll be heck. okay so we're getting there let me just add something in real quick if you want to use this tool there's also another good way of using it you want to face this away from your fingers place it on and it gives you a little bit more leverage to give it that little bit more snug. I just kind of went over everything with it that way. And uh, I don't know if it's actually meant. You don't want to hold it this way because it will dig into your hands. So basically you just want to put it on and gives you a little bit. Okay, we have this full. This is full. The next part is I am going to put. Now you see how I put the furthest one away. To the first one here this way they're not crisscrossing they're going to line up this one's going to go here this one will go here so they're going to be uniform just a little something to keep an eye out on 
I'm gonna have to put this out here make sure you can all see that no I'm gonna pull away a little bit for you okay move this up move this here so I slid the hose all the way down now we've got to put this down and like I said before okay you'll know when it grabs I'm sorry if my head gets in the way my big head big head there it is it did grab this is this is a little what a, what a genius little tool I mean for something so small I mean you know bravo I also want to throw in why I'm on this video I did mention mod my mods I know Chris over there in the sales very nice guy good guy to talk to actually gave me some nice tips performance PCs and Prima chill who sent me this wet bench that I've been using and also some of the other things like I said I kind of went through a few companies but I'm not being paid and I'm not receiving anything free I'm not sponsored I wish I was but I'm not and uh, I just want to you know make sure that everybody knew that nothing comes free in this world anyways um, yeah so I'll be back with the rest of this yeah no sponsorships but if you anybody out there sees this and you want to give me a call, give me an email, I'll take in anything. I just put my name out there. Uh, I'm going to be doing full PC builds, parts, everything. Um, we get this all starting up in the next couple of weeks. So don't be afraid to contact, get a hold of me. We'll be able to get my, uh, not tons of stuff. Video cards are still hard to get. But, you know, they are able to be gotten. So... Oh, give it a shot. Hope everything works out good. Okay, we'll be back when I get this wrapped up and I get this pump going. Okay, here we are. Yeah, I just like to add over at Mod My Mods, Kevin, on um, modmymods.com. They've got a nice little YouTube channel that Kevin runs. And uh, I haven't personally had a chance to speak to him or anything yet, but I, I would like to. And uh, he's funny. He, he's got some really good sponsors too, but um, nice guy, and, and they're so helpful. I mean, I guess they're almost like a family um, type place, which you don't see a lot of anymore. When you start getting into these big companies, you can forget about getting personal and having people really put that little extra into looking out for you, and you know, that's really important to me. It's too bad that the small businesses in this country are just going to the side, but they are actually the backbone without them. I mean, it's nice to be able to order stuff online and get discounts, but let's face it, there's nothing like being able to go into a place or make a phone call and talk to somebody like Chris that takes the time to sit down and and really explain everything to you and give you their thoughts on stuff. Again, we're back to this little crazy fitting and this tool. And it, it just grabs, it's so easy. It just grabs right on, beautiful. Okay, so we'll be back on a next one. This time, true, really, honest, promise, it'll be on the pump. Okay, so I lied, it's not on the pump, but don't mind the bouncing around. It's all part of amateur videoing. Um, what do you think? Let me uh, go back on something here. You might want to get a few of these because if you really put a lot of pressure on me, and I can straighten this out, but I kind of put a little bend on it. Uh, it actually fell kind of into place. I can straighten that out. That's nothing. But um, this tool, this ain't like maybe you need it. This is a must. There is no way. There's no way, unless I, I would have destroyed all of the chrome and all of the paint on on these um, on these uh, 
compressor fittings, I mean, th there's just no way. It, without this tool, forget it. it it's just not going to happen. Um, I kind of, what happened is I put it on, twist it, and boom, I, I fell off of it and it caught on to one side and it twisted it, but it's all right. Yeah, there's no way I could have done it. All right. So I, what do you think? I think it looks pretty good. It looks pretty professional, actually. You think it looks pretty professional? We'll see what it looks like when it has fans on it and everything. Next step, it's going to be going, getting powered on. And while it's powered on, I am going to continually feed through the top of the radiator fluid until all of the bubbles work themselves out. And the way I'm going to do that is the way I showed you. Powering on my power supply unit, I ran a feedback loop. I'm going to put a SATA cable to a 12-volt um, controller, uh, actually a, a hub, one of them little crazy hubs, and just plug it in. And it's just going to give it power. Just remember to do one thing. If you're using a wet bench like I'm doing, and you have stuff plugged into it, like your fans, your water cooler, like the water cooler I have on mine, um, disconnect everything off your motherboard. You, you don't want to fire that up and just leave it sitting there with power going through it in case, you know, you never know what might happen. You reach up, put your hand on it, spill something on it, anything. So you don't want to take that chance. All right. Cross my fingers. I've got it powered up. What I did, ran my loop, worked out the way they said, but I did go on and order a, um, it actually looks like the 24 pin that plugs into the, that is attached to the motherboard, and it's got a loop built onto it, $4.99. You pop it on the top of a, C, uh, a PSU, and it does what I just did basically without having to make your own wire, so just a little handier, a little easier to keep around. I ran a SATA to this hub, ran it into here, put the power cable on, got that fluid in here. This is filled. Now I'm going to take this top cap off. I hope that it gets power because if it doesn't, I'm going to have to delete this whole piece in shame. Okay. So we are videoing. Yeah, it looks like we are. Okay, guys. I'm going to throw a little bit more fluid on here. On here and there. Well, okay. All right. And providing I don't run across the room in a mad dash, it should turn on. And we do have power. And do it do we do we do we do we have pumping? Yes we do. Oh, that's pretty. I do like the blue color. You can see this SATA power. You can see this power to the top of this. Oh, look at that little wheel going. Go crazy, baby. Okay, I'm going to have to loosen this up. Maybe not. Maybe this is what I want to do. Yeah. Okay. Let me put this plug on here a slight bit, just in case it falls over. Because I definitely have to, uh, I, mean, I still have air in here, I can hear it. If you listen real, oh, okay, that's what I wanted to do, listen. That's air inside of there. That's not good. So we're going to get rid of that, okay? And this is how you do it. And some people do it differently than me, and it's fine. I get it. Some people like to run the hoses, like, into this, this little thingy ha I have right here, and let the water pull itself through. And that's all good, too. I just like to do it this way. This is the way I've done my other ones. This is the biggest one I've ever done. OK. 
Okay. That quieted right down. Oh, it's pumping away. Yeah, take a listen. That's how it should sound without air in it. Now, to get 100% of the air out, forget it. Good luck, because that's never going to happen. What you want to do is kind of move it around a wee bit. These hoses do their thing. This pump do its thing. Shut it off and check it for a second. Okay, turn it back on. I know I got sweat all over the bloody thing. Oh yeah, it's going. Let's take a look up top. Do I need any fluid? Oh yeah, a little bit. Put a little bit. Of tranny fluid in it. Another thing you want to do is you want to move the radiator around as well. You want to try to get as much air out of these things as possible. I know it looks, it looks crazy but believe me. Hear it? Hear it? Hear the air that was in there? There's one thing that's important. You always want to keep the top of the hoses above the pump. I think it sounded pretty damn good. Let's take a little quick peek in there. I know this dinging from this bloody aluminum thing's going to be a nightmare. Maybe I can get it out of the video somehow so I don't deafen half of you. Well, I'm taking a little fluid. A little water. I call it water. but It's got some stuff called gloku glake ass or some shit. I don't know. Excuse my language. Whatever it is. It's an antifungal bacterial... Um, additive that goes into distilled water now you can run it with just distilled water don't get me wrong if you want to go ahead but be warned mother nature will take its toll and what you will get is some nice growth in there down the road this you don't want okay you definitely don't want growth well not there anyways um Okay, so that looks good. Let's take another peek here. I'm going to do a lot more moving around, and I'm not going to video the whole thing, but pretty much I, was, I had fun. This is wrapping up. The next time you see this, we'll be going in the case. Let's get that good and tight. 
getting tight. All right, so I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I know I don't say it much. I actually feel a little weird when I do say it, but I really would appreciate it if you enjoyed the channel. It doesn't cost anything. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe. It'll give me, it'll put me into the algorithm where I'm just getting there. I'm actually starting to get outsiders and, uh, you know, I got, I got a big family and every one of them goes on YouTube and I, I love how they all subscribe to my channel. You know, thanks brother, daughters, all of you. I haven't seen none of you. Jesus. Um, and just let me bend. So there it is. So again, before we wrap it up. You can hear it doing its thing. Sounds fresh, baby, fresh. Okay. I don't see any leaks. We're going to let it run for a while. There's a little water on it, but it's not leaking. It's just that I spilt. All right. Again, really appreciate it if y'all gave me a thumbs up. I'd be happy to do more videos. Also, if you have any questions, feel free. Hit me up. I got no problem. I, I got no problem asking people when I need help. So, I'll be more than glad to help you out. Anyways, everybody take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.